Chris, are there any benefits for this new Brexit department? What should they be doing and what do you make of the Public Accounts Committee's analysis so far? Well, I think it's all about how this department uh, under Jacob Rees-Mogg is going to be channeling its energy. Uh, I think the fear in business is that Jacob Rees-Mogg undertakes a sort of bonfire of the regulations to get the economy growing at, at pace again. And that's exactly what we don't want. Industry, consumers, civil society, workers and unions are all asking for smart a smart regulatory approach to driving growth in the future. We all want a high standards economy and to be an exemplar in the world. In the trade environment, there is a real opportunity for someone like Cabinet Office to put a laser focus on the pain points for industry, removing those pain points, and then delivering solutions and innovation at scale to drive growth. And just to give you a flavor of that, we know that a combination of smart regulation with digitization led by government will deliver 225 billion in efficiency savings, 25 billion in SME growth, one to two billion extra in trade finance, and a reduction of trade costs by 80%. It's enormous. But what we need is a, a government led by number 10 cabinet office to be really focused, not distracted with parties and all the other things that are going on, um, to stand a real chance of driving jobs, investment, and growth right across the UK. Uh, that includes the leveling up agenda. I mean, any initiatives that are going to drive um, uh, innovation science parks, playing to our strengths as the UK will only be a good thing. Uh, it'll be good for growth, good for jobs, and it'll be good for the UK. But it's, you can't just say it and then expect it to happen. It needs real good leadership from, from government.